up. All right. Ready for the tour of the kingdom? Oh, why now? So hot outside? Ah, uh, yes. This place has a hot climate, but uh, come on, it'll be fun. Fine, fine, let's go. I want to see what people do in this hot climate. Where are we going? The farms. Like you said, let's find out what jobs people do in hot climates. Let's go and say hi to the farmer there. Hello, mister. Oh, silly hose. You look very troubled. What seems to be the matter? There is no water. It barely ever rains, and I need to water my plants. Otherwise, I won't get a good harvest. A harvest? The crops that are grown and then gathered are called a harvest, Jax. Oh, yes! Water is very important for growing crop. I've seen how rice grows. It has to be under water for days for a good harvest. If you don't have enough water for the crops, can they survive in this heat? Not all plants require as much water as rice does. The plants that are grown here need very little water and can grow even when it's really hot. Beans! They only need a little water to grow. Plus, they get ready to go to the market pretty soon, so they're not exposed to the heat for very long. Oh, that's smart. Choose a plant that doesn't need water. My neighbor, a farmer like me, has planted tomatoes and melons in her farm. It's a smart idea because these plants do not need to be watered every day. The roots of these plants grow very long, and they can travel far into the ground to absorb water wherever they can find it. If you go around, you'll see that most farmers have planted beans, tomatoes, melons, cucumbers, and different types of lentils. Wow, nature is so cool. There are different plants that can grow in different kinds of climates. But, uh, how, how do we fix your hose, Farmer Nadim? Oh, I still don't know what's wrong. Huh? Uh, sir, if you could just, uh, move your foot. Oh. What? Oh, dear. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, thanks, Manny. All right, then. Off we go. See, See ya, ya, Farmer Nadim. Well, thank you, kids. Where to? To the shed. Let's see what other occupations people have in hot climates. <laughs> Thank you, kids. I am Sadia. Hello. Hello. Do the hens not feel hot running around in this weather? Oof, I'm already tired and sweaty. Huh, they actually do. But unlike us, hens cannot sweat to cool themselves down, which is why they need to be in a place that's cool. So many animals. What do you do with them? How do they help you? Ah, oh, we animal rearers rear these animals because they help us in some way. They all have different jobs. The cattle, sheep, and goats give us milk. We can make cheese, butter, or yogurt out of the milk. Then there's the sheep that give us wool. And the camels and donkeys are used for traveling and carrying goods. Animal rearers have to travel with our animals during the very hot months in search of food. Oh, quite the nomadic lifestyle. Nomadic? A nomadic lifestyle is one where people do not stay in the same place all the time. It's very beautiful at this time, so they keep traveling from one place to another in search of food for themselves and their animals. Ooh, so you do have a home. But during the summer months, you become a nomad to help your animals find pastures. <laughs> yes. It was nice to know more about animal rearing, Sadia. How about you visit the market? It's very beautiful at this time. Awesome. Bye, Bye Sadia. Sadia. Hey, a trader. 
That's another job people in hot climates have. You know what? Why don't we head on over and see what they do? Hello, visitors. My name is Madeira, and I welcome you all to Madeira's Lantern Shop. Hi, Madeira. Oh, these lanterns are very pretty. For 20 gold coins, they're yours, miss. Oh. They're all handmade by us. I forgot my money bag at the palace. What do I do? What do I do? Hey, uh, do you think I can come next week? I won't be here next week, miss. I am a nomad. But I thought that only animal rearers are nomads. There are different types of nomads, Jean. The animal rearer that we met was a pastoral nomad. She was a semi-nomad who adopted a nomadic lifestyle in the summer months. This lady here is a tinker or trader nomad. They travel from place to place to sell the things they make. There were also hunter-gatherer nomads who traveled to different places just to obtain food for themselves or to sell the fruits or meat to different people. It does sound exciting. All your things are so pretty too. Oh, we really wanted a lantern. Wait, hey, I have some dates and dried fruits. Would you be willing to trade them for a lantern? Oh, I love dates. Hmm. Okay, let's trade. <laughs> oh, that was smart, Jax. Thank you. Bye, Bye Madeira. Madeira. Bye. Visit soon. I would have thought in this climate, everyone would stay inside their houses and not work. I would have thought so, too. But then we met Nadim, the farmer, and he told us all about his crops and harvest. Yes. And then we meet Sadia, the animal rearer, and she told us about her nomadic lifestyle. And then we met Madeira, the trader, from whom I got this beautiful lantern. Oh.